think that we are doing a lot of things to destroy the environment. And I think we need to uh, fix it real quick because the next generation after this one is going to be in big trouble. Uh, it's not good. <laughs> uh, how do I feel about it? I couldn't really tell you. It's out of our control. It's not in our hands. Uh, the only thing we can do is uh, try to recycle and, you know, that's about it. Nothing we can control, you and I. Um, I should probably be more concerned about global warming. Um, do I think it's necessarily a fact? I'm not convinced. Uh, besides destroying the environment, the atmosphere, and, uh, and killing all our plants, and all the putting our waters and stuff. And we just ask for trouble so there won't be no way to fix it. Weather. Uh, yeah, mostly the weather. The weather changes. Where it was cold before is gonna start getting warmer. Where it was warm is start, gonna start getting colder. Think of long range effects, you know, you don't think of anything like the next couple of years. I don't know, it's hard to say. Mostly weather, I think. The weather will start changing. How about the world? Same thing. I don't know that we'll see anything right away. I think it's more about how do we put processes into place that we know are going to serve our community better than, like, for example, recycling. You know, Detroit doesn't have curbside recycling. Other cities have curbside recycling. You know, the things that we know using, instead of using aerosol hairspray, that we use pump hairspray. You know, things like that. Like, at what point do we do we start to cross over and start to use the things that we know are better environmentally for us than others? And I'm sure that at some point those will have consequences as well that we don't know about. But the, the point is that we're always getting better and we're taking care of our planet because it's a closed system so we're not guaranteed to have it forever at all and it's our job to take care of it. Certification for sure. Um, the storms are getting bigger like Katrina is going to happen more often. I don't see I don't know the scientific exactly how or why but obviously the the water levels are going to rise when the polar ice caps melt. Um, And even just a few inches of the water rising will change things drastically. Uh, one of the major things I think is uh, recycling. You know, we need to, uh, you know, instead of just, you know, creating new new junk, putting our landfills. You know, we need to just figure out ways to recycle everything. Probably uh, stop using so much uh, oil and I heard something that they were going to put some kind of chemical in the ocean to change that. So but mostly just the emissions, the car emissions, changing notes. Yeah. I, would think. I think that we need to listen to the experts that spend their time researching it and, and their, you know, their life is dedicated to figuring out how we take care of the planet and take care of the animals and, and the plants that are all a very a valuable part of our closed ecosystem that needs to, you know, we need to take care of that. So I don't think that I have any of the answers. We should talk to an expert.